Welcome back to Mycology Exploration. I am the husband. I am the wife. And in this video, we're going to show you our DIY alcohol lamp that we use for sterilizing utensils and tools when working with agar. More specifically, when cloning and transferring. Sterilizing your utensils is key to being successful in mycology, as it will ensure that you don't transfer unnecessary contaminants to your clean petri dishes. In an ideal lab environment, you would have Bunsen burners to utilize to sterilize your scalpels. In this video, we'll show you an easy do-it-yourself way to achieve the same lab results. We use 190 proof alcohol in our lamp to create a clean burn environment that we can use inside. You will need a four ounce glass jar and a lid. You can use the two part lid that comes with the jar or use any lid that creates a tight fit. You will also need a wick. You will need to create a second smaller hole for airflow. So nothing is combustible, nothing blows up, that there's airflow and that you also don't want the alcohol to spew up around where the lid meets the wick. The wick that we used for this lamp came from the dollar store. It came in a two pack for one dollar. I simply cut it in half and then cut that half in half widthwise. So when creating your hole on the top of your lid, you wanna make sure that the hole for the wick is a tight fit so that alcohol does not spew out around the wick. You also want to make sure the wick fits all the way down to the bottom of the jar so it's able to pull up the alcohol all the way at the bottom. We use three ounces of 190 proof alcohol in our four ounce lamp. This lasts us well over an hour and if you're curious about our X-Acto knife kit, we picked that up for about $15 from a local supermarket, hobby shops, and I'm sure Amazon has it as well. We really enjoy the convenience of having so many different blades to work with. When you're finished, you can pour the alcohol back into the bottle or you can simply leave it in your alcohol lamp. It will end up absorbing through the wick and dissipating. Drop any questions that you may have down in the comments. We love hearing from you. Thank you for liking and sharing. Thank you for joining us and subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our latest videos.